In 1933, the British Everest expedition discovered the ice axe belonging to either George Mallory or Sandy Irvin just below the ridge in the vicinity of the first step. This amazing discovery gave rise to many theories about what might have happened to Mallory and Irvin before they disappeared on June 8th of 1924. In his book, Camp Six by Frank Smythe, he surmises that had Mallory and Irvin followed the traverse route to the Norton Couloir, it's practically certain that they would, like Norton and Somerville, have taken a lower line when descending and passed well below the point where the ice axe was found. Pretty interesting stuff. What do you think?